The attorney representing the admitted shooter of unarmed teen Trayvon Martin sat down with Fox 35 this weekend for an in-depth interview about his client, George Zimmerman, his whereabouts, his security and defense plan for George Zimmerman, and of course, the real story behind that website and all that money. Fox 35's Jennifer Bizram here in the studio with that interview. Jen? Tracy, when I first sat down with Mark O'Meara, I wasn't sure what to expect from the guy who's working on probably one of the most talked about legal cases going on in the country right now. But he was surprisingly calm, at least in front of me. Take a listen as he talks about his client, George Zimmerman, his concerns at taking on this high profile case and his security strategy to keep everyone involved safe. Are you afraid sometimes? I'm worried. Taking on one of the most racially charged cases in years. My fear um, is the extreme people, the ones who, who hear the message and take it too far, could overreact, both against Mr. Zimmerman, against me. In our sit-down interview with Mark O'Mara, he says he worries for his client, his family, and himself. I live in Orlando, so the Orlando Police Department is helping out. They're doing some extra patrols and details on my office and my house. O'Mara, a defense attorney for nearly 30 years, and George Zimmerman's attorney for about three weeks. The first time he says the two met was in jail after Zimmerman was charged with second degree murder in the shooting death of 17 year old Trayvon Martin. But he says he hasn't seen Zimmerman since he bonded out last Monday. Do you feel comfortable having a relationship or representing someone that you're really not meeting? Um, it is difficult. There's a certain amount of cloak and dagger to it. I mean, if I meet family members, I've got to meet them away from my office or away from where they may be staying just to maintain the security. So in that sense, it's a little awkward. O'Mara won't say if Zimmerman is here in Florida or not, but says he will keep him in hiding until he needs to be at another court appearance. Zimmerman's bond was set at $150,000, only 10% of which he had to come up with. But that was before O'Mara claims he knew about the nearly $200,000 Zimmerman had in donations from his website. Had the judge known it was sitting out there readily available to them, he may have made the bond higher. But it wasn't or isn't readily available to them now, so I don't see why he would address the bond. But a judge has requested the bank records from the PayPal account. I think he wants to know when it came in um, and who administered it or who had availability to it. He says he takes some of the blame. And if that causes a concern for Judge Lester, we'll address it. I do not think he's going to revoke a bond. I don't think he's going to increase the bond, particularly not now that it's been secured in my trust account. I wish I'd taken the time to have a better inquiry of those websites. Do you think maybe he just may fail to not mention something or maybe something doesn't come in conversation or or, or not, and I'll be fair, or be negligent in telling you something that might jeopardize the case or just his, you know, what people think about him. Absolutely. And the concern is with all of my clients, not just George Zimmerman. O'Mara says he has concerns representing George Zimmerman, but having done criminal defense for as long as he has, there's always going to be some sort of a client concern. His next steps in the Zimmerman case, get over the $200,000 hurdle, then file a motion to keep the information on the case private. Information like witness names and addresses. Live in the studio tonight, Jennifer Bisram, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Jen. Daytona Beach Police turning up.